An emotional week for Drogheda who travelled to Ballybofey hoping against an upset they should have had an early corner. Alan Byrne at odds to know why they didn't. Harps, the only first division club remaining in the competition, more than held their own throughout. Funston and Grimes battled through the 90 minutes. Funston doing superbly well on this occasion. He carved out the opportunity and it brought the save in the end from Schlingerman. Mick Cook will leave Drogheda at the end of the season with the cup he hopes. His troops though struggled in front of the posts in the Twin Towns. Kieran Gallagher was proving to be their nemesis advancing here to deny Ryan Brennan. He tipped over the free kick from the same player moments later. And then Harps, third from bottom of the first division, and six to one outsiders going into the game, hit the front. Their talismatic striker, Kevin McHugh, now 33 years of age, produced one of the moments of magic with a top drawer finish beyond Schlingerman and into the top corner. Certainly, it's worth one more luck. Three Drogheda players around him, but as they say, class is permanent. Harp's tails were up and all of a sudden they were playing with a newfound confidence when Kieran Call raced through one-on-one -on -one with Schlingerman. You fancied him. Schlingerman beat it away and Pat McCann failed with the follow-up. Harps continued to press second half, but Schlingerman held firm and tried to build from the back. Ryan Brennan, though, was blissfully unaware of an instant top screen. But it was brought to the attention of the referee, Tomás Connolly. It seemed no more than a shoving match between David Cassidy and Kieran Cole. Cassidy grounded in front of the fourth official, Robert Rogers, and it warranted a straight red for the Finn Harps back, much to the amazement of the majority in attendance. The Harps manager, Peter Hutton, was also forced to the stand for his protestations to the incident. This gave Drogheda the thrust they required and soon enough they were level. David Cassidy latching onto the long ball, squared it into the middle and Mick Daly was there to side foot home the equaliser with just five minutes remaining. Neither side could fashion a chance after that and so they must meet again tonight at Hunky Dory Park. At Bally Buffet, it finished 1-1. I thought we'd give a great account of ourselves. It was a, it was a feisty encounter to say the least. And uh, but I thought each and every one of the players could be proud of their performances tonight. They give it their all, and unfortunately, it didn't get us over the line. You know, it was a David Goliath thing. I, I knew coming up here, Peter Hutton would have the boys well organised. I seen them playing last week against Lover. I don't think they deserve to lose that game. The amount of possession they had, but certainly when the old fox Kevin McHugh got a fantastic goal, I thought we lost our way a bit. And could have been two or three down. But great credit to the boys. We sort of reorganised ourselves in the second half and I'm very happy to get out here with a draw.